Graffy, big news about Lauren. Um, obviously, she's not going to be available this week. Yeah, look, it was. Um, it's, it's not what we'd planned, but I think you know, long term is what we're about with Lauren. It's about the longevity of the season, the longevity of the contract with us, and the medical team felt that she was. You know, there's still a bit of pain in her hip and hamstring region, so she's going to have an injection uh, today or tomorrow as soon as we can get her in, and uh, that's really just to numb down some um, some nerve pain that she's experiencing experiencing there's nothing structural um, they've MRI'd it scanned it numerous times so it's really just about making sure when she comes back that we that she sticks and we've got her for the entirety of the season when do you expect to have her back next week against next Adelaide week. so it was really just, she did a light bit of practice with us last night she didn't get through that totally pain-free so they felt you know if we can get her pain-free then we're on the right track moving forwards rather than backwards so um, after the injection she'll have a couple of days rest stick with their intensive physiotherapy and uh, strength and conditioning program and then build her back on, onto the court at the end of the week, early next week, and have her ready for Adelaide. Just on uh, the game last week against Logan, tough game. Uh, you got out to a, a, a few breaks during the game, but obviously they came back to you in that last quarter. Uh, how did the team pull up from the, from the win? Yeah, really well. I mean, I think any win's a, a confidence boost for us, you know, particularly with a few injuries at the moment. But I, I think it was um, it was a gutsy win, you know. They made some big shots down the stretch. I mean, it wasn't poor defence either. We hit, we had some, some really good defensive efforts and they made some big plays down the stretch. And good teams will do that to us. So, we, um, you know, to come away with a win was, was positive for us and we've got to try and repeat the same against Sydney on Friday night. You must have been really happy with Nicole Hunt, 20 points last last. Saturday night? Yeah, finally. Um, no, I mean, look, she was, you know, we, she's a talented young player. She's just, you know, struggled a little bit early to, to find the form that she showed last year and um, she found it at the right time. You know, she directed the traffic, she scored, she hit big shots for us and, um, you know, we need that combined with Bibby hitting, combined with a few of the others hitting together and when we get everyone on the same page playing the best they can be, we'll be in a pretty good situation. Friday night, Sydney University Flames. Tough game, 0-5, and five. they're going to want to get that first win on the board, uh, particularly with Karen Dalton coming down from Sydney. Uh, what are your expectations? Yeah, look, we've got a great rivalry with Sydney for a whole lot of reasons. You know, we've played them many times in grand finals in the early 2000s. Um, you know, there's a bit of a Canberra-Sydney rivalry about the cities anyway. Um, you know, people love hanging on Canberra and, and claiming that Sydney's the, the city to live in. We, we think differently to that. Um, but they're a good team and they're better probably than when we played them at the start of the season. They've added a couple of players to their roster. Rahani Cox, a former Olympian, mm -hmm. who we were trying to recruit um, and fill some void. And then uh, April Sykes from the WNBA, who's a, a very good player and can shoot the ball exceptionally well. So they're a better team than they, they were um, four weeks ago, but I think we're a better team too. You know, we've found our feet a little bit, got some confidence winning um, streak together at home. Uh, it's going to be a great clash. Would have been better had we had lots, but we'll, um, we'll go in as we have. So where do you think you need to beat Sydney? What's their strengths? Well, it's changed a little bit. You know, I think we did a great job against them early. We, um, we've got more size on the perimeter, but their team's really changed. Now they've got two players that, are, that can play on the interior and a little more attacking. So um, for us, it's really about can we value possession? You know, we've been throwing the ball away disastrously. So if we can fix that area and play with the same defensive energy that we've had, I think we'll be in a good situation. Yeah. Into the top five. Obviously, you want to stay there. Um, good luck on Friday night. Thanks very much. Hi, I'm Carrie Graff, coach of the Canberra Capitals. You can see us live this Friday at the AS Arena at 7 o'clock against Sydney.